Hello children, today Miss Ami wants to read you the story about Moon Zoo. It was written by Carol Ann Duffy and illustrated by Joel Stewart. It was printed by Macmillan Children's Book. Hmm, it is a nice book to read. Look at the sky. Let's begin the story. Wow. At the foot of the mountains of the moon is a lunar zoo. It has 10 baboons. They jump 20 feet into outer space and flash their bottoms at the human race. Look at the baboon playing with the ma banana. In a crater of the moon squats a huge gorilla, a shy, solemn, vegetarian fella who swaps at bananas. Gribbity, rabbity, they float about in the weak moon gravity. In the sea of tranquility, penguins play, but the walrus likes to snooze all day till the zookeeper comes, eight full pails swing from her hands, which have bright green scales. Look at the walrus. She's got Neptune salad, Pluto pie, stardust sugar from Orient sky, angelfish, meteor bats, purple pumpkins from the planet Mars. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, it's so yummy to my tummy. Polar bears come floating like big white clouds. Down from their mountain, they are each allowed a starfish and chips with tomato sauce. And a healthy portion of salad, of course. Open wide. The black and gold moon tiger leaps and pose, scratches a shooting star with his claws. The keeper throws him a Jupiter kebab, which a cheeky baby monkey tries to grab. Wow, elephants! The elephants bounce on the silvery dust, leaving poch mark footprints on the moon's thin crust. Their trunks are telescopes, probing space, painting up at the Earth's blue face. Hippos swallow in the moon's deep craters. Bobbing with the rhinos and the alligators, giraffes stoop low on their space rocket necks and eat their Venus leaves with delicate pecks. Oh, look at the rocket and the panda. The eyes of the panda widen stare at the universe and the bright stars there, at black holes, planets, distant suns, her baby munches on a moon rock bun. The moon lion sleeps in his deep dark cave, but the little zookeeper's very brave. She tickles him awake with her eight green hands, 
then spoon feeds him with a whatever he demands. Look at the moon. The moon's a plate on the table of the sky, lick completely clean. And we all know why. The moon zoo creatures have had their dinner. Even the lunar snake could be a bit thinner. Empty pails clank as the zookeeper goes home. She walks along the Milky Way all alone. Spaceships and satellites above her head, while in the zoo on the moon, they're all in bed. So there the story ends. What a nice story. Thank you for listening. Goodbye everyone.